Hey guys, um, currently different location of film. It is currently raining outside. So I thought that I would make a video on LBCC Apothecary. I just need to like find uh, a, a spot to film. So maybe my original spot was best. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a good spot. Okay. So I'm using a different phone too. Okay, hi guys. So I just wanted to do a little talk on history of cosmetics and stuff like that. Um, currently at college, I am taking, well, I'm going to take a historical class based on colonial times. Hold on, let me just get this fixed. Okay, that should be good. So anyways, I just wanted to do a little historical background on um, what I recently purchased and um, <laughs> right, this chair <laughs> um, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so I recently did some research online um, on like what did colonial people use um, to, you know, in their everyday lives. And I mean like herbs, like um, sort of plants. I mean like, um, like what did they eat? Um, what did they, uh, like what did they use any kind of medicinal herbs or anything in that like area? And I figured out that they made a lot of salves. So in history, people would make salves, which is like a pomade or a pomatum. Um, I've been watching LBCC's videos and she talks a lot about pomatum and she says that that is the oldest term for like pomade. Pomatum is like, um, it's like a, like if you ever see like a salve, it's kind of like, um, or like a lip balm, it's like kind of like that texture in like a tin. So um, doing my recent studies, I realized that um, drugs can actually affect your, your headaches or pain in the future. So I decided to purchase a migraine balm. So I'm very excited to receive that. And I will definitely do a review on this channel when I receive it. Um, I also um, watched uh, a video on, like, I want to talk about this. In this video, I want to talk about. Whoops. In this video, I want to talk about the pomades. So the pomade is like, um, it's. It's like, it can be like an oily texture. So in like the old times, they used to use these like very natural herbs and everything um, to sort of moisturize the skin. They would often use like fats from bacon and animals to help uh, fight against skin and skin aging, such as wrinkles, which I don't really think, which I know I don't have to use now. It's just sometimes I bought I bought this pomade with the lily pomatum with this old uh, historical woman on it with gray hair because sometimes my skin just gets a little dry after I take a shower and I just would like that to replenish my um, just to kind of like make it a little bit more easier to um, you know to moisturize my skin so I have ordered that and uh, someone's here um and so but i also wanted to talk about the history so in like the 17 uh 18th century um it was more and 18th and 17th century it was more of very minimal and i'm sure everybody knows that 
Um, but if a, a woman would wear any makeup at all, it would be like just the salve or um, some moisturizer. And they would never wear any eye makeup, like no mascara, no eyeshadow. Um, if anything, they would just, you know, uh, rouge their lips and cheeks. So, um, or make their face paler. Um, but Colonial Women did um, have cosmetics, but they just didn't wear them as much as like uh, Regency, Victorian, or Georgian periods. So, I don't have any products to show today, but I do want to talk about the, um, the history of all of them. So, um, let's see, the, they started making pomades in like the 17th century, um, according to colonial um, historical evidence, and people would, like, there was all sorts of uses for these like herbs they would put in. They would put in like lavender, chamomile, sage, um, they would put in like lemongrass, all of these herbs, and they would use it for tea. So the main factor of, you know, being healthy well-being is to, is to actually, if you would have this tea and drink it, like black tea, green teas, any kind of teas, like chamomile, all these teas are like gonna help you more than if you use them like topically you know like if you use like creams or like lip salve or anything so they would drink these teas the girls and everybody so that's why they would look so youthful or not youthful just like healthy like you know like they would look really beautiful um and so that was really popular, the tea, because everybody knows of the the Boston Tea Massacre. So that, you know, they were obsessed with their teas. Um, but very natural, they would go always um, natural way was best, they thought. And so, um, I will definitely do a review once I receive those. I've also placed an order on the um, orange flower water, which is like a which is a perfume or room spray. And it was said that Mary Antoinette actually loved that scent, so I wonder what it smells like. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and I think there was something else I was going to talk about. Oh yeah, um, they would have all of these different kind of like medicinal herbs, so sometimes it would help with headaches, sometimes, and they would use these all in like the place of drugs like today. So if they worked back then, then they have to work now. So, um, we just get so used to these drugs in modern society that we don't feel like we have to try anything else. So, I'm just saying you should try it. So, okay, so I'm going to end this video and I will speak to you guys later. Bye. Wait, there was something else I was going to say. Um, oh yeah. The benefits of these herbs are always, um, they've been used for such a long time. Um, so, I'm looking for like new books, how to read this stuff, but I don't think I found one yet. So, alright, talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay, um...